did years ago. Call now for a free information kit. Welcome back, everybody. We have a little buddy here, and we also have a very good friend, the one and only queen of the jungle, <laughs> Kelly Deidring Harris, is here. And you've brought us uh, a lot of creatures in the past months that some make good pets, some not so much. What do you think of this one? Well, today we have a little guy from the primate family that, although cute, Kelly says not such a great domestic pet. Definitely not a domestic animal. This is a ring-tailed lemur. So sweet. Yes. He, his name is Andy. He comes to us from the Suncoast Primate Sanctuary. They're taking very good care of him, but they don't make good pets. Just like you mentioned, you certainly need to have a permit to have one, so you can't just go pick one up. But they're also really, really messy. They are. They can cause a lot. I had two squirrel monkeys when I was growing up, and okay. they can wreak havoc like you wouldn't believe. They can. Yeah. But they what are... animal can't be messy? I mean, well, so <laughs> Well, they're an endangered species, oh. so it's never a good idea to keep an endangered species in your home. And they're from Madagascar, which some people say, where the heck is Madagascar? It's an island off the coast of Africa. And the it's lemurs are only endemic to Madagascar, which means you can't find them anywhere else in the world. They are called a prosimian, which a prosimian is a little bit different than an ape or a monkey. They were thought to have evolved maybe 50 to 100 million years <laughs> before them. He does have that fantastic tail that you see. It's a it's a ring-tailed lemur, so he's got those rings around his tail. Is it a prehensile tail, one that can, can grab Can hold? grab. Great question. It's uh -huh. not a prehensile tail. No. It's actually used strictly for balance. So when he jumps around on the trees, just like a tightrope walker would use that long pole, that's mm -hmm. how he's going to use it. He's going to stick it straight down or to the left or to the right. To balance. To balance. Now, they're uh, omnivores, which means they eat pretty much everything, but they mostly stick to fruits. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see this delicious, he's over it now, he's apparently they... lost interest in the fruit, but that's his favorite diet. Interesting area where you've got the collar. That's actually the best place to keep it because you can see it might slip off over there. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. And he's very, very comfortable. He was born at the primate sanctuary and they're taking great care of him and eventually he's going to go right back with his family and a group of lemurs is called a troop. Oh. So a troop. A troop. Okay. And they, there's anywhere from 15 to about 30 lemurs. And earlier you asked if they were nocturnal. Yes. Which nocturnal means that they're awake at night. I was looking at his eyes and he looked kind of had those nocturnal-like eyes, owl-like eyes. That's right. They do look like that. The ring-tailed lemurs Nobody. are actually um, awake during the day most of the time, but certain lemurs are nocturnal. And that's actually where they get that name. Um, the Malagasy people actually believe that their relatives are spirits oh, inside really? the lemur, so now they look, have a great history. Look how he's using his hands. Uh -huh. he, he does, his well, he was thumbs. just using his hands, but he has opposable thumbs, right? He so, does have opposable like thumbs, just like we do, and he will use certain yeah. tools. In fact, scientists have observed them in zoos using tools just like monkeys and apes. It hasn't been observed in the wild, but in zoos it's been observed, so they are very, very smart animals, and they're really neat. Somebody said, well, are they easy to take care of? They're smart. So it's almost like raising a three- or four-year-old. Is a three- or four-year-old easy to take care of? Perpetual three- or four-year-old. I don't have one, but I would say no. Yeah. yeah. I can tell you that this little lemur, as sweet as and kind and gentle as he is, he does have sharp little teeth, because mm -hmm. I did end up with my finger in his mouth a while ago. <laughs> it does happen. And, um, I mean, yes, he's, he's adorable, but I can understand fully now what you're saying. Absolutely. And, and we like to encourage people to learn about them. So visit your local zoo, or if you're here in the southeast or if you're visiting Florida visit the Suncoast Primate Sanctuary to see them but remind your children or your husband or whoever thinks it might be a neat idea to get an exotic pet that it's just like raising a child especially with something like this right okay. now you said they were uh, omnivores meaning they eat, they eat mostly fruits and vegetables but what else uh, like like mealworms and they might eat and for protein that's exactly right they also have been um, it's spotted in the wild eating like dead birds mm. um, but, but very rarely <laughs> they're mostly fruit eaters and they have a really really neat social structure and my favorite part about ring-tailed lemurs is that the social troops are ruled by the female ah, which means the really? females eat first uh, the females defend the territory so they have a really cool social social structure and scientists are learning more and more about lemurs because for years and years we didn't even know how, how they were classified well Kelly Deidring Harris thank you very much for bringing Andy in yes Andy and thank you for joining us Andy, as much as I'd love you to stay and be our mascot it's 
best that you go back with your family to the sanctuary. Back to the troop. Absolutely. All right, Kelly Diedring Harris, once again, thank you very much. Thanks Still ahead on us. daytime. Our movie man, Sam Hallenbeck, takes a look at the new film, The Other Guys. Mm -hmm. It looks a little wacky, and it features a very...